K-League goals in 110 games. Punch through and it sits kindly. Big chance here. And Crokem keeps him out. That's an absolutely wonderful save. Took a chance, anticipated so well. Borderline in terms of offside, but that's a phenomenal save. It's Kim it... In Sung, the man who scored two goals against Perth as a substitute. As a starter here, he couldn't find a way past the Kiwi shot stopper. Got Melbourne Victory got to wake up here. There's only right now just seems a matter of time. Crocom claims that one. Goal has done plenty down this right hand side, and Crocom should snaffle that one. Good goalkeeping. Left foot delivery. Keepers. Caught by Crocom. He bowls it out in a hurry. We look at the uh, goals highlight reel. And Bulltouse, Tommy Orr dished up his fair share of assists. Now the shot took a deflection, and Crocom reacted. Fantastically well again to keep it out of that bottom corner. Another super save from Crocom. Spoke about the deflection, made it twice as difficult. It's a super save right into the bottom corner. Like I said, that deflection. Reads it through. Yun Bit Garam on the turn, back post. Kim brings it down for Junior. And Crocom keeps it out again. What a super save. Elaborate build up. And the Kiwi shot stopper is having a stormer. Absolutely fantastic save once again by Crocom. Is he going to have one of them nights? I'm sure Kim Do Hoon, All Sans manager, will be thinking that, as will All Sans player. But that's what you know when things are going well for you. And Crocom, he's very much the number one now. After arriving from the Brisbane Roar in the off-season. Fantastic save. Kim in behind again. Look at the space. Oh, what a snaffle. Again. He read the intent. Thought for a moment that had to be finding Johnson in the middle, but Crocom grabbed it cleanly. And has just come on. Same age as well. Alongside Anderson. Oh, lovely ball. because he's coming from a little bit deeper or sometimes from out wide where they can't really see him. And if the person who's out wide with him doesn't track him... Plenty to keep an eye on here as another header is won cleanly, but Jan from the tight angle couldn't test it in and kept in, but Croker commanding his area. Very good goalkeeper. Big danger through the legs of Falami. Chance brewing here across oh. the face and... Long, long way to go still in this game. Far too early for Melbourne Victory to start thinking. Crocom getting it to the uh, nice grass, away from the bare patches. Strokes it upfield to Falami in an FA Cup final, and he was the man of the match against Manchester City. Made look comfortable in the end. It's not, especially when the pitch is in that state and it bounces right. Brilliant now. touch. Pulled it down out of the sky. Did Osmar, but Crocom brings real composure. In goal for the victory. 
Crocombe goes long this time. And McManaman down the line for this. Another one brewing here. Trouble. Dragged down and around his man. And Crocombe kept it out. Yunju Tay let fly. Super save from Crocom. I don't know if Mark Ansel feels the same thing. The same at this. Nick Ansel rather. The same time. Yeah, he created 83 goal scoring opportunities for Brisbane last season. He had four shot assists last week against Melbourne City. Three of which. There's another big moment for Melbourne victory. Jamie Young beaten all ends up from the corner. I think it was Ansel at the back post. Super header. And inside, I mean, you're talking a centimetre. And it's in the back. Because victory by and large dominated that midfield. Brisbane player Jade North, or helped by Jade North, and good work by the Brisbane Raw technical department and the front office staff. To... Energy there from Jesse Daly. <laughs> Nick from Scott to get his head up. Ford and Daly was providing that uh, run from deep. See and Jakobsen once more. Toure getting the better of Shotten here. The teenager in behind, support in the middle as well. Mohamed Toure, great save from Max Crocombe in the victory goal. Can't get even close to him, goes for that side. That is a super save. Brilliant save from Crocombe. Look at this space. For Strain in behind, Toure wants a cutback. Strain just keeps on going, and that's an important save by Crocombe again, who's being left isolated at the back. Strike immediately, Kiddo keeps his feet. Juric had options, went for goal and didn't really test Croker. Yeah, as soon as he got that ball, he wound up playing against Dylan Ryan. Yeah, the ball in from Smith here and lunging Tommy Juric's not flies in company with Ben Halloran. And what a save that is, tipped over by Croker. Shot. It's a lot of power behind that and a fine one handed save. It was a very near thing for Armiento, who's just buzzing about. In the attacking third, have a little back heel for Wilson to hang it up, and Crocombe comes, commanding stuff. Very good goalkeeper. Difficult ball in. Tough ball, shot. It's trouble. Gives it away, and Perth capitalised nearly. Crocombe kept them out. And provided Perth glory with their best chance of the game. It was a good save by Crocombe. A few players keen for a rest at half-time, but there's another 90 seconds to go on here. Mento. Brilliant play and goes for goal and nearly surprised Crokem. That ball was swerving again. Perfect glory. Attackers a bit this. Uh, Craig Goodman, the Adelaide United man as well, now doing great things in the Middle East. Crokem bowls it out. Corner Rowley. He was half a. Corner in now for United. Who hits up with the header, of course. Perth glory in action here tomorrow at Amy Park against Melbourne City. Here's Rojas for victory. This is dangerous. Melbourne victory for Bradley Lauder with a great opportunity. Promising again from Diamante looking for Burisha. Let's head back down to Neil Kilkenny. Yeah, kind of paying the his... defensive duties. Diamante couldn't do much with it. The long ball came in from Kel. He tax players, he attacks the space. Here it is, a chance. Now for Victor Sanchez. Ike Guadalcena! Save Max Crokem to turn the screws on this one. Yeah, look, a wonderful ball by Sanchez, waited for Ica. I get on that occasion. And here's some space for Melbourne victory now. Jake Brimmer did it last Tuesday night. Elvis Ken Soba was waiting. He shakes off his defender and his Keanu Bacchus who went near post and Crokem did well. Deedy break from the Wanderers and it falls to Kieran Bacchus. It's a good height. Crokem does well. The angles across goal were cut down by the recovering defenders. So is the VAR corner in. Crokem claims. It's a good one. Crokem had to come out. And Lord, I think very fortunate to given a yellow card that Crocombe comes out, touches the ball, collects Same his page with Jordan Doherty, but you see a bit of flair. Spreading of the play by Angus Thurgate. 
thereafter seemed to be a lot of conviction with the Jets moving forward. The victory have conceded the corner. Another in-swinger from Nazarene and Crokin with a good punch clear. Back in by Topo Stanley and now it's happened! No! Crokin makes a double save. Denies O'Donovan and then Valentino Yule. He does really well. It's a good header this from Roy O'Donovan. That's a good save low. And there was never a sense. And through goes Archie the second. And Crokem denies. And he would have been on just in United setting up an early chance. And Barisha toe poked it. Good reactions from Crokem. An obvious threat. Barisha peels around and he tries to surprise the keeper. Max Crokem saw what was brewing. Sanchez hangs it up and Crokem commanding his area. Seen off the Risky pass, Barisha trying to pounce and Crokem again with the composure. As Diamante delivers and the shout of keeper comes from Crokem. That pass a little too long for Piraeus. So angled into the box that's a decent pass allowing Cruz to assess the options angles it for Storm Rue a chance to whip it in and the header on target good crime again by Croken good through traffic from him as well he's looking very comfortable Croken he wasn't severely tested here but still He's repositioning as the ball comes over, complete concentration, and because his preparation is so good, it's an easy defuse. Markovic, and the head! Get off! Get off the ball! Mustaker again, and it's Guaracena denied the equaliser there by the woodwork. And now another chance for Risha! What a save from Max Kroken! Great action at Marvel. Firstly, Guarachana, what a eye catcher he's been. Prius with a beautiful cross, a thumping header. Another day that goes on the other side of the line. And then Berisha, when he, when he leaps at that angle, it's just, it's so balletic from Berisha. And croak him up to it. What a good contest. Now Diamante, and kept on target by Imai again. He's had a couple of shots now. And that was an easier save for the New Zealand custodian. Has a little look at the ref too, Speedy. There was a bit of a handful of shirt there, and Tamaki Mbai not protesting, but looking and saying. Sanchez goes down, looking for a penalty. Perez has shots, and the penalty appeal has been waived. He's done extraordinarily well to get things going. Clock off at all. And here they are, right through the middle. Barisha, they ask for a handball on the control, but... It's play two on. more minutes to go Get as Payne couldn't pick out a teammate in the middle. And the diving header from Markovic. Driven back in. And Crokem had to scramble across to keep Piraeus' shot out. It was a, a stunning strike in the end. He's pulled up a little bit lame. Is it from the shot or from the challenge beforehand? That's a good fingertip. Necessary fingertip. Dylan Piraeus. Crokem been good again today. Beaten the once, but can't be held. Well, hung out to drive for that. It was a wonderful strike by Sanchez. And from the corner on the other side, Diamante teasing Croker. And the media today, the teasers for the Alessandro Diamante special that airs after full time tonight. Will be massive tonight. A shot and works it back to Croker. with that makeshift. Warrington starting to string some passes together and Muratovic into space. He backed off. Gerdan did enough. What a fantastic header from Justed. Group one from Crokem and this time Justed brought it down. Now Davila hangs it up for Wayne to attack and stylish one-handed take from Crokem. Can't win. Anderson across, Piscopo, and down smartly was Croker, keeping a clean sheet for now. On with the uh, Wellington bench there. 
Not sure why Burke and Curto gets away with no caution. Ref set advantage. We can't go back and give a yellow card for the... In New South Wales recently. Signed from Marconi. Other players would have accepted the invitation. What a ball that is. Locker Lingoy just waited for Good it. Link. Lifting it. And Wayne was all over his opponent. He had to come to free kick if it didn't wind up with Croken. But they're down on troops, Wellington. That's a clever ball from Devlin. That was surely a free kick. We don't get to that discussion because Croken cleans things up in the end. They're going to leave Wellington in that position. Tough start to last season for Wellington. Remember, they lost the first four. Then they wound up with the best campaign in club history. And Croken with a commanding catch. He's going to keep a clean sheet in the victory goal. And they have secured a massive three points. They always start matches really well, especially this year. A lot of their goals come in that first sort of 60 minutes. So for Melbourne victory, they just need to start well, get the ball down nice and early. Boot creeping in, trying to tee up McLaren. And it's still alive for City. Side netting from Connor Metcalf. And here comes City again inside the area and trying to place it. It was Florian Berenguet. And Max Croker. Positions, usually with a wide defender, they sort of like to hang out wide, but he's drifting in, just adds a little bit. Really impressive against Sydney FC. And in their last game in Melbourne. Atkinson whipping it across the face, and Croker's punch finds a teammate, McManaman. But this here was a beautiful little ball in. Max Croker's been outstanding. It's the way that he goes at defenders. He's always excited me when I've watched him play, even play with uh, Finish off by the Scouser. Yeah, for me, that's it. Jamie McLaren, oh, tries to blast it in again. And this time, off the top of the crossbar. And Melbourne victory are spared by a rare miss from the Socceroo. And he's right. And now Noon taking on the strike and Croker. Nine times out of ten, you decide not to make that run anymore for Andrew Naboot. Jay McLaren knows that that ball's going to get Noon. The Beat a couple, did Craig Noon, who bends it. And again, Croker. Noon. And now in behind McLaren. Croker. With fantastic goalkeeping. Flag goes up eventually for the goal kick. Now Roston Griffiths back to Berenguer. And over hit for McLaren. And he had options there. Tasmanian. And now Noon gets there on the half volley, and that was very nearly a tap-in for Jamie McLaren. That was brilliant goalkeeping in the end by Croker. Tonight, the equaliser there by the Woodwork. And now another chance for Risha. What a save from Max Croker. Phenomenal. Great action at Marvel. In by Topo Stanley, and now it's happened. No, Croker makes a double save, denies O'Donovan, and then Valentino Yule.